How's it going folks? Brent back here. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to install a transmission in a race car. Sounds easy enough, doesn't it? But it won't be. Trust me. All right. So since the last time we were together, uh, I did a little house cleaning. These are all wheels that I can use, but I can't use any of the tires. So basically I have 25 to 28 racing tires that I can't use because of a rule change. I cleaned out this entire corner. There's an entire pile of German car parts that I don't even have a car to put on, but I think I have to sell them on eBay. More cardboard than you could shake a stick at. More crap than you could possibly fit into one shot. Uh, but no, the race car is back here somewhere. She's not even ready. I mean, there's no bumper on it. There's no wheels on it. And then I got flags on it. That's not helping. Anyway, again, today, we should go see what we're doing. Transmission day. Install. There's my backup. There's a whole bunch of mess. There's my primary. So let's get to it. So every race car is different. But like a street stock or sportsman or, you know, whatever you got with a almost factory bell housing or a, you know, factory style GM type transmission is going to have a bell housing kind of like this. Especially if you're running a mostly stock clutch. I found that the easiest way to put a transmission in was something my dad taught me. Find some half inch threaded rod because that's the size of your bolts to put in the transmission. Stick them up here in the top of the bell housing. And then you can install it the way you want to. Now, kind of like this is what I'm going to show you. Huh. Pop rivet. That would have hurt. What you do is... You get your old paper creeper out, some cardboard, get up under the car. Obviously, I don't have a lift, and uh, I don't fit either. So this is going to be interesting. So I got my shift levers out of the way, which you probably saw a little bit of, but you can't see from there. Now what you do is this. Now what I'm going to show you is the man's way to put in a transmission. And I say man's way and not a way to be sexist or anything. Because if a woman did this, she would do it the smart way, which would be get a transmission jack, have people around, like friends to help, or professionals, or, you know, something intelligent. Uh, that's why women live longer than men. Uh, but since I am a man, I'm going to do it the dumb way. Now, drag the transmission on in here like this. And you got to make sure you can grunt and groan as much as possible. Like, you know, because that's a part of being a man, or especially if you're a father like me. Kids, don't try this at home, by the way. I should preface that. But what you do is, why am I changing a transmission in the first place? This one's like 24 pounds lighter uh, than the Muncie that I had in here because we can't run. Well, we can, but not with the gear rule we have. But anyway, enough jargon yeah i don't have a tranny plug in it there's no oil in it so what you do is kind of lift her up like this there's no oil so don't worry about it onto your chest it hurts a lot but that's okay because i'm a man and i know how to hurt myself and be stupid and then you take it like this and you get the two ears, like these two ears right here. Things really heavy. The two mounting ears on the top. Line them right up with that. And there you go. Transmission's installed. Now watch it fall on my face. I can't see a thing. All right, so yeah, still can't see a thing because I don't have a real camera. So as you can see, barely, see, lights in the way, because <laughs> I don't have a real camera, uh, it went in fine. Uh, it's really tight under here, so I can't show you a hell of a lot. I still got to hook up the shifters and the drive shaft, but there, see, it's in, it's fine. So this is how I fill up my transmission, because it's a race car and it's just super easy to reach from the top. Get a little hose, put it on an old filler or cap, 
you know, the they got these little caps on them like that. Oops, there we go. Put a little hose clamp on it, just a vinyl hose or whatever. I did change the firewall in this, so it isn't as easy as it used to be. Uh, I did pour in about half of it so that it would be easy to pour from the top because then it would completely come out. Um, so I think it's time to just go and stick it right in like that. Yeah. It pours very slowly, so it's easy to just kind of work your way in there. Obviously, I labeled it as no oil, but now it's going to have oil. So here's a tech tip for you. If you're using one of these things, which is pretty awesome, Sharpie Mean Streak, no free ads, it says permanent marking stick. All right, I figure, you know, you'd use a permanent marker on stuff. So I marked no oil. Well, guess what? Not even chlorinated brake clean will take that stuff off. So now I've got to take this stick and essentially just cross it out, which is, I mean, it, it is as intended, uh, it is as advertised to, you know, permanent marking stick. I guess I learned my lesson. Okay. Winterization or dewinterization continues. Got that done, which was off camera. Let's see, front brake pads and rotors later. Yeah, because I don't have money. Valve springs later, seat belts, ball joints. There we go. I had to put those in. Oh. So, apparently I have things on my list that aren't even on my list typical racer crap you always have a list of things that you need to get done ahead of time and then you start doing some work and figure out that oh crap I'm doing things that aren't even on my list so the list never gets shorter that's all I got <laughs> you think you're making progress and then all of a sudden you look at the list and it's like, oh yeah, whole bunch of crap you didn't finish. Great. Awesome. So I think that'll do it for this video. Uh, we got some more stuff to do. Like I got to dewinterize it, but it's too cold out for me to do that. Uh, I got to change the valve springs and change the oil. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in my way, of course, because everybody shows their way to do things. Uh, and then I got to get it. Geez, I got to get it on scales pretty soon. It's about a month out from the first race. Um, kind of excited. It's a new setup. Got a new, uh, a whole new thing going on here. Uh, I've changed a lot of things. I've changed the, uh, it's going to have different weight. It's going to have different springs. It's going to have different cross weights. It's going to, I mean, everything in it's going to be different, different shocks, different sway bar, different all sorts of stuff. So it's going to be an adventure the first time I go out. Other than that, um, yeah, we'll see you next time, and uh, thanks for watching.